This year's national conference and election manifesto is to build a smart Bangladesh, says Obaidul Kader. BNP to hold a past procession in Dhaka on 38th December. Countrywide protesters schedule unchanged. And a mild cold wave is blowing in the north and northwestern parts of the country. Assalamu alaikum, welcome to my TV news. I am Fozar Roshan with you in the news room today. We are still watching the headlines and I am going to the details. This year's national conference and election manifesto will include a pledge to build a smart Bangladesh, says Awamilik General Secretary Obaidul Kader. He said this after the meeting of the Subcommittee on Health and Population at the political office of the Awamilik President in Dhanmondi today. Meanwhile, Jahangir Kobi Nadok, a member of the Presidium, said after visiting the meeting ground at Sarwadi Uddan, this time the conference will be organized in a simple manner. He also said that no decision has been taken yet on inviting BNP to the conference. BNP has announced a fresh date, 38th December, for holding a mass procession in Dhaka to press home their 10-point demand including the resignation of the current Awamili government. The move comes after the party had postponed its 24 December countrywide protest as the ruling Awamili National Council is scheduled to be held the same day. However, the mass processions in other parts of the country will be held on the pre-scheduled date. BNP Standing Committee member does Islam Khan confirmed the matter while speaking with the media at the party's Napoleon headquarters today. From a rally on 10 December, BNP had announced a mass procession program in all cities, including Dhaka and district towns on 24 December. This crisis in the banking sector did not arise due to the corona pandemic or the war in Europe. Instead, the sector is witnessing lacking for so long days, said the Center for Police Policy Dialogue CPD. Fahmida Khatun, executive director of the organization, said this in a dialogue organized at the Black Center in Mohakali today, pointing out that the amount of defaulted loans is increasing. She said that various indicators are showing weakness. A mild cold wave is blowing in the north and northwestern parts of the country, including Chuadanga and Ratshahi. According to the Meteorological Office, this cold wave will continue. Also, the minimum temperature in most districts of the country is below 14 degrees Celsius. Most parts of the country are under the grip of a chilled winter due to mild winds. According to the Meteorological Department, the low pressure over South Bay of Bengal and adjoining areas is in the same area. An extension of it extends to northern Bay of Bengal. Besides, the night temperature may increase slightly across the country. The country's lowest temperature was recorded at Chuadanga at 9.5 degrees Celsius on Friday. The maximum and maximum temperature recorded in the capital was 17.1 degrees Celsius and 25.4 degrees Celsius respectively. At least two people were killed and 25 others were injured when a bus carrying workers of Pratik Ceramics lost control and fell into a ditch in Dhaka's Dhamrai area. The accident took place in a Kargurhata area of Saturia Balia Regional Road in the early morning today. According to the police, on the way from Koliapara to Dautia in the morning when it reached the Karuaghata area of Sanwa Union, the bus lost control and fell into the ditch in which two people were killed and 25 others were injured. A husband and a wife died in a fire in Konabari of Gajipur metropolis. The accident took place at Zarun R in Konabari around 5.30 am. The deceased are Shafir Rahman and his wife Nasrin Akhtar. According to the police, the couples live on the ground floor of a six-story building in that area. The guard in charge of the security of the house first saw the smoke of the fire from the room. With the help of locals, the fire was brought under control. Later, the police went to the spot and recovered the body.
That's all from our newsroom for now. Thanks for being with us. To join with My TV News Online, visit YouTube slash My TV Videos. And to watch all our programs, visit YouTube slash My TV Bangla, Facebook slash My TV Bangla. Our next bulletin will be telecast in Bangla at 7.30 p.m. Don't forget to join with us. Till then, stay connected. Allah Hafiz.